Yo, what is good, YouTube? It's your boy, shout out the guy back with another banger video for y'all boys, man. Hey, man, first off, I just want to say thank y'all so much for 700 subscribers, man. Thank you for the 10K views on my Tracy McGrady face creation vid. Just thank y'all in general for all the support we've been getting, man. We just one more step closer to 1K monetization, consistency, all of that. Right, enough being sentimental, though, I do have a job to do. But um, I know a lot of y'all are thinking right now, oh my God, shot, you said this is a 2K24 build video, bro. Where's 2K24? This is 2K23. Yo, listen, listen. You can use this build in NBA 2K24. I'm just poor. You see how that rhyme? If you're new here and you got any doubts, man, you don't know who I am, just know I'm official. I make the best builds every year. I go by the build guru. I got thresholds. I got all that. I'm really, I, bro, I'm really like that. But let's get into it. If you didn't peep the physicals and the position and all that, you want to go small forward, 6'10 height. You want to go 229 for the weight and then max wingspan. Now, this isn't all for the finishing, but as you can see with that 87 driving dunk, you will be able to get pro contact dunks and you'll be able to get the elite big man contact dunks as well as the pro big man contact dunks. Now, next up, you want to upgrade your post control and that is going to go to an 80. Now, I know you like, oh my God, Giannis doesn't have a post game. Yo, listen, Giannis just want to work that with Hakeem. If this nigga come back like how I think he finna come back, he's finna be a real life demigod. But anyway, that's besides the point. You want to upgrade your ball handle to a 75. And that is because in 2K23, you could get an 80 maxed out at 610. But now you can only get a 76 maxed out at 610. You feel me? We all over the place when it comes to upgrading this build. But that's how you know this is a true demigod. Next thing you want to do is you want to go to 87 block for silver anchor but you have to make sure you have the 72 interior defense if you do not have the 72 interior defense you will not get silver anchor uh next up we got the defensive rebound you want to go with a 92 for a gold rebound chaser all right now you want to go down to the physicals make sure you copy down my physical attributes if you want to be able to get the badges that i'm getting copying these attributes down you'll be able to get badges such as bulldozer on silver physical handles gold and big driver on gold obviously on a Giannis type of build you want to be a freak of nature physically um you're gonna have the high speed at 610, you're gonna have a high strength, high vertical, which obviously helps with dunking, but then you'll also be better at rebounding and blocking shots as well. Now, with just an 80 vertical, you're looking at badges like gold chase down artist, gold pogo stick, gold rise up, silver posterizer. Like, you're going crazy for it. Look, now, is a 76 3 gonna make you go seven for seven every game? This, this, that, that, that. No, no. Like, bruh, the three-point shot is the weakest part of Giannis's game. But at the same time, do not be afraid of that 76-3. Just with that rating alone, you're going to be unlocking some decent jump shots along with Agent 3 on bronze, Catch and Shoot on silver, Claymore on silver, Corner Specialist on silver. You'll have badges like Spot Finder on bronze, Open Looks on silver, Guard Up on silver. Like, And you're hearing a lot of silver badges and stuff, so you're probably thinking, oh, I'm not going to be able to shoot consistently. Listen, bro. If you play any of the past two Ks and you were any good, you didn't need a 99 three-point rating to hit all your shots. You didn't need Hall of Fame badges to hit all your shots. I've been the same way, bro. I was shooting with a 64 three-pointer last year on an inside center bit. Trust me, trust me, you're gonna be good, I'm telling you. But yeah, man, this is basically gonna be the build. Here are the final stats. Like I said, you could put these stats in NBA 2K24 and I guarantee it's gonna be damn near the exact same if it's not the exact same but anyways the takeovers are kind of irrelevant because in 2k24 you can choose whatever takeover you want i'm personally probably going to be running like um either sharp to make my shooting better or whatever defensive take they have maybe every once in a while for fun i'll choose a playmaking one just to like go crazy on like 2k19 type of time where i'm just tall and i could just dribble but yeah man there is the build the Giannis antetokounmpo build well at least my Giannis antetokounmpo build i made the 2k23 current gen version of it like when the year first started but i never ended up using it because i made my ad build then i made my kg build which i felt both were better but interior finisher man but it's really catfish because i'm 6'10 i could dribble i could shoot I could play elite defense. I rebound like a glass cleaner. And then 
bro, it's just, it's just a crazy, well-rounded bill, honestly. Now, what I'm going to say is, if you feel like this bill will not translate to 2K24, that is okay by all means. Like, uh, it's fine. But I seen my man, OG Almighty, shout out to him. I seen him do a video just like this, and that's what inspired it. Um, everybody has 24 already. I don't have 24 already. I didn't even play next gen like before like two weeks ago. So this was all new to me. But what I was saying was if you feel like the bill won't translate, that's fine. You can just watch me like when I get 24 and I will show you, you can make this exact build like with the mid ratings. As you can see, the build can play one through five. Like I said, um, I was placed at the shooting guard. I'm 6'10". That is now good. I was doing a whole lot of playing with this build. I liked how it felt. I know this isn't 2K24, but like, come on, bro. At the end of the day, fundamental basketball is fundamental basketball. As you can see, I throw that dime to CJ McCullough. Right, now to talk about the gameplay and the build itself, I've already seen some 6'10 builds where they was literally going crazy on 2K24. But as you can see, I was playing great defense on the perimeter on Jalen Brown. He was already on Christmas takeover. Then I get the help side chase down block. Then look, the pass fake. Dom to CJ McCollum again. Like, the pass accuracy won't be a problem, especially for a build that's going to be a secondary slash tertiary ball handler. Because, bro, keep it a buck. I seen... Oh my god, I hit that man with the Euro step just like Giannis, but nah. I bro, I seen point guards with 60 pass accuracy. And these YouTube bro, they're trolling y'all. I'm telling y'all. It's the Popeye's chicken sandwiches. Now, as you can see in this clip, I'm sliding my feet with Jalen Brown. He kind of beat me off the dribble, but then Giannis just jumps up with that 80 vert and swats. Get that shit out of here. He should have did the finger wag like the Kimbe Matumbo. That's just me showing y'all once again. I be knowing what I'm talking about. I told y'all in 2K23 that Silver Anchor was, bro, you did not need Hall of Fame Anchor. I told y'all Silver Anchor was really like that. And people was telling me, oh, this build is not good because this, this, that. I am the build guru. Look at me. PG Vision right there. That's point Giannis. I see the mismatch. Zion got Marcus Smart on him. I give him that ball. He take the easy cut. Hey, right, that's not all you finna see from point Giannis. I need that screen from you. Zion comes at that big body. I hit him with the behind the back out the triple threat. Easy dom to, to uh, nah. <laughs> Easy dom to Zion, bro. But anyway, man, I hope y'all boys did enjoy this build video. This is the best. Look. I'm not, I'm not going to start with all the, the, the best build stuff, but this is a great build for if you play with randoms, like I'm being genuine here. If you play with randoms, do not make one of them builds with no defense, no playmaking, bro. Make you a build that is all around. But like I said, my apologies for not uploading, bro. I'm not trying to give y'all no BS content. I'm not trying to give y'all stuff y'all see every single day. Uh, this is my first next gen video, like... That's the only reason why I made this video. Y'all are the God Squad, man. Y'all deserve the best. But make sure to drop a like and a sub if you new. It's your boy Shot the God, another fire production. Hopefully, I'm uploading that 2K24 within the next week. But I'm going to catch y'all boys, man. Y'all have a good day. Peace.